Okay guys, we are in Jackson Hole in the Pagani, clearly. Ron had a few family things going on tonight. We filmed all day today, but he handed me the key to the kingdom, the Pagani kingdom. And he asked me to go shoot some photos and videos of it. So we're gonna go up to the Tetons and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey of the drive and try to multitask shooting the video of the drive and then also kind of bring you guys along for the photo and video experience and like what's what that's like to shoot. It should be amazing. We have the whole evening with the Pagani and I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, <laughs> noted. Also, I have my camera set up on a suction cup on the windshield, and so if it's like wobbling a lot, please forgive me. So we have to go in town to Jackson, we're gonna fill up, and then we're gonna head up there. Okay, so we're going to town, and I swear no other car draws as many eyes and attention as this one does. Every time you drive it, there are so many people reaching out of their window of their car with their phones out, or just you see Jaws actually dropping as you drive it by. So we're gonna drive through Jackson. Hey. So we're gonna drive through Jackson and we're gonna mount this 360 cam on top of the car and uh, just see what reactions we get from people there. American beauty. But there's also this thing called German engineering. And craftsmanship by Argentinian men. I'm a fan of all of those. Okay, first stop, we made it. I always notice every time I go out and try to shoot photo and video, I always get overwhelmed trying to multitask both at the same time. So today I'm gonna try to be kind of aware of that. And we're gonna shoot a ton of photo first, and then we're gonna switch over to video. But check this out. That's sick. That's so sick. Okay, so one other thing that happens when you're shooting solo, you kind of park the car, and then you realize you want it in a totally different spot. So I rolled up here, I thought I wanted it parallel with the Tetons, but as I looked at it, I thought it would be better to have it kind of at more of a quarter or a 45 degree right here with the Tetons in the back right there. So I'm just gonna pull it forward and then align it all up. I'm gonna move it forward just a little bit. Perfect. Okay guys, so this is the angle that I ended up deciding on. Just a nice 45 degree with the Tetons in the background. I shot a few photos like this. And then now I am going to switch to video mode and try to get a bunch of clips like this. Then I'm probably gonna turn the car around and uh, get as many shots as I can with it turned that way. How you doing? Good. Great, how you doing? Officer Shower, National Park Service. What Good to meet you. What are you doing? I'm Tace, I'm just filming a, a little video here. Cool, for the yeah. car? Yeah, for the car. Cool, is this your car or somebody else's car? It is someone else's car. And this is a video for them? Yes, so I work for him full time. Okay. And I, I do all of his video related content. 
So we do you have a YouTube channel and his Instagram and everything, and so uh, we just do a bunch of filming and stuff. And who? I mean, what kind of car is this? I have no so, idea. So it's a Pagani Huayra. Oh my gosh! It's how much? One. It's about three million. That's how much this car costs. It's a, yeah, it's a three million dollar car. Oh my gosh! And is it somebody local who owns it? So he lives here during the summers. We're mm -hmm. from Utah, okay. and so he just shipped it up about a week ago. Okay. And so he. What am I doing? <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, so it's a it's a great job, and he is like the coolest guy ever. Like as Seems nice cool as humble as they come. I know cars. he's as nice, humble as they come, and like one of the most rad dudes out there. Do you have a park can... map? I don't. Do you have one? I have something to help you a car. It's not my car. It's his car. Go for it. Please take all the pictures you want. <laughs> um, I head out here to Antelope Flats Road, and like right in here. You get the full Teton Okay, range, nice, yeah. And the mule's ears are blooming out there. So it's really pretty. So, okay, so, quick update. Ron told us to come to this spot just below the Tetons. Super beautiful. The photo shoot has already been super interesting. Um, we had the whole encounter with the park ranger. She was actually awesome and gave us a suggestion for where we should go and shoot. So I'm gonna take the park ranger's advice. She actually gave me a certain spot to go to and um, he actually handed me this map and circled it on the map for me. So we're gonna try to go to that location and uh, she said it's amazing. She said there's wildflowers out there and a bunch of other things. So while we still have good light, uh, we're gonna head that way and see where it takes us. Okay, second spot, we made it. Park Ranger was right. This is like perfect for what I'd wanna shoot because you can get far enough away that you can punch in and get like the entirety of the Tetons. I think that was the hard thing with the other spots. Like we were too close and so we couldn't get like the vastness of it. So I think that's one of the best parts about coming to a spot like this a little further away is you can kind of capture it all. So check this out. Look at that view. Nice. Okay. Um, every time you go out and do a shoot, you just kind of know when you're getting the shot and uh, we're, we're totally getting the shot right now. Look at this. <laughs> That's the shot right there. That's the shot. It's a Pagani Waira. Pagani Waira. Waira, yep. Waira. Yep. Pagani Waira. Pagani Waira, that's right. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I've just been shooting the past hour and a half. And guys, this car is an absolute chore to film because every single person that drives past has to get out of their car and take pictures with it. It is insane. Anyways, it's hard to shoot a car when every single person in the vicinity of where you are has to also take pictures with that car. And I get it. I get it because it's not every day that you see one of these. And, and the entire purpose of Ron's collection is to kind of share it with other people. And people really don't get to see these things all the time. So I 100% get it. But when the lighting is just right and it's about to go away and you're trying to get the shot and then other people are like getting in the shot or talking to you or all these things, it kind of becomes hard to deal with. But we want to share the cars. It's been an interesting time shooting this thing. That spot we just went to, I was at for more than an hour. Um, it was a great spot. We got some awesome stuff. So we're gonna go to one more spot and then we're gonna head back shortly after that. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Look at that. Dude, that's epic. Oh dude, look at this fox. <laughs> what the heck? We're really just like driving in the wilderness with the Pagani. Okay, that was an amazing shoot. I thought it would be interesting to kind of bring you guys along to see a lot of what I do in the behind the scenes of shooting a lot of Ron's cars. And I want to thank Ron for the opportunity to come to Jackson, visit him and his family and be able to take the Pagani out. We could not have had a better day. Perfect weather, perfect lighting, perfect sunset. And I mean, 
you're looking at where we're at right now and it's amazing. This is one way to wrap things up and thank you guys for tagging along. It's been amazing.